Welcome back in. Well, as you guys can see, we are blessed to be joined by some special guests right now. And these guests put the special in special guests because you guys are looking at the state champions, also known as the Grant football team. So clearly they don't need no introduction, but I'm going to go ahead and introduce them anyway. <coughs> Representing the Pacers are head coach Cole Reed right here and co-head coach Sid Thompson. Welcome, guys. Appreciate it. And, of course, to the left of me and to your right, two of the players that got the job done, <laughs> we have Sorry. the one, the only, Kyrell Goss Pruitt and Puka Khalili Cooley over here. <laughs> now, look at this. He has a broken wrist, arm, what have you. That, that's just that's, Those are battle wounds right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, he, but he's a state champ, so thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for having us. really appreciate yeah, you guys. Thank you for having us. First thing to I mean, before we get into it, you guys are state champs. Has it sunk in yet? How does it feel? What's the emotion? Um, for me, it ain't sunk in yet. Know what I'm saying it. <laughs> I woke up the next day, uh, next couple of days, thinking about it. Came Monday, I'm like, man, I'm ready. It feels like we finna game plan for another team. Like, what? What's next? Yeah. I'm saying, but um, I think it's over, over. These few days, man, uh, just relaxation and getting off our feet and being able to recover mentally and physically, man, I think it'll sink in. But, uh, man, it, it feels good. It feels real good. Well, and speaking of what Coach Thompson is saying, like you put in that hard work all year long, and it was a grind for you guys to get through all the way to winning the state championship. So is it almost difficult to, once the work is done, you got or you said in the huddle after the championship, mission accomplished, is it almost difficult to embrace that it is actually accomplished? It is. It really is, especially just the time, like the coach said, the time we put in. Um, I mean, it was a year ago when we were working to this goal. And to 365, day three, 365, we finished it. And, but it's still like we still got stuff to do, and it's like the kids enjoy it, and it's been great for them. And, and you kind of get little feelings here and there when you get the congratulations and everything, but it's like, uh, is, it, is it really happened? Is it really true? <laughs> One of the greatest stories about you guys this year, in addition to everything else you guys accomplished, but the fact that the last two seasons you guys went winless in games you played to now being state champions. So I'm just curious to you guys, how do you flip a 180 like that, literally in a matter of less than a year, to go from winless to hoisting a state title? I feel like it's all about the, the culture and just bringing Grant back and the discipline that we needed. And I don't like, I don't know. It's just the culture was there, the family bond, the, the brotherly love, and we just brought everything back to help accomplish the big state win that we got. I love it. Puka? Yeah, I think it was just, just coming in this season and, you know, being winless last season. You know, everybody just noticed that, like, once we dedicate – to perfecting our craft, you know, bring Coach Sid and all them back. Like, we really put in the time to perfect our craft, and then we could see what we really could do. We could really do some damage. And kind of building off of that a little bit, I'm curious from your guys' perspective, what was day one like? They talk about day 365, you get that championship, <laughs> right? But what did day one look like? The belief that you guys brought to this 0-9 season that we're coming off of, this doesn't define us, this is who we are. What did that first day look like at camp? Like coming in day one, I knew that as a team, we had to come in and be ready to practice and go hard, as Coach Sid always says, win the day. Knowing that for the past couple of years, we have not been on winning streaks, and we've had so many doubters and so many people telling us we weren't going to be no good and get out of Grant, and then I just stuck with it. and I, I kept telling everybody we're going to win state. And that's what ended up happening. You know, it's interesting. One of the things that you just said, you had a lot of doubters and, and naysayers, and how did that make you guys feel, and how did you how did you guys use that to row you up as motivation? I mean, it was it was easy when when you're being overlooked and and things like that. It's 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 easy to be motivated now. Like, man, we're still not there. We were picked to lose playoff games. You know, we're overrated. Our league was not good. We heard everything wrong with us instead of maybe we're that good. Mm -hmm. And it took it's crazy. It took a loss to Monterey Trails for teams to actually believe in us. But then it was still like, eh, you know, they're not there. Their league was in. So we hit the run in the playoff, but it was still, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. And, um, and that really is what, what kept them motivated and kept us motivated. We yeah. didn't want that feeling. I mean, shoot, I was the 0-9 coach. I never wanted that feeling mm -hmm. ever again. Um, so, I mean, that was the biggest thing was we still never, Laguna Creek was picked to beat us, and this is after that. And so we were picked to lose that one. Playoff games, you know, we got the bye, but – 
you know, Yuba City, they were picked, you know, people thought they could upset us. Like, we were always being looked at every week. It's like, right. what do we got to do? So finally, it's like, all right, here's the final one. We won the last game. You still going to doubt us or not? Well, and let's talk about that last game. It's amazing we've gotten this far in this conversation without talking about that last game. <laughs> one of the craziest football games you will ever see. Yeah. Just one of the amazing finishes back and forth going mm. down to the wire. And the thing that I took most from that game is I was walking the sidelines, and, and this was when you guys were coming back. And I can't remember who I heard. I heard a couple players saying, I am not going to let us lose this game. Mm. And that was the mindset that the entire team adopted even when – uh, you you take the lead and then you give it back and you're in the final seconds, the final last chance drive. You end up winning the game on your home turf. Right. Can someone talk to me about that mindset? I am not going to let us lose this game because mm -hmm. it seemed like the entire team felt that way, even if I just heard one talk guy talking about it. Well, it's, it's a mindset that we like instill in practice. It starts in practice. Like we're not really worried about nobody else. I'm saying we we in control. We firmly believe we in control of our future and what goes on, winning and losing ball game. So. If you see our practices, you see why. Like, we real competitive, real competitive. The kids get after it. The coaches go back and forth, and that's just what it's about. Like, we, every situation that did happen in that game, we, we scripted and went over it in practice. So when we got to these little moments late in the game and we were down and it seemed like it was over, everybody was calm. Everybody, like, we've been there before. See what I'm saying? So um, it was just a moment where we knew that, We've been here, and we know how to handle the moment. I love it. All right, guys, well, before we get out of here, I just want you guys to go around and say one word to describe the Grant football team. We will uh, start off uh, We'll start off with Puka. Man, family. Accountability. Champs. Yes. Yes. Um... <laughs> Champs. <laughs> champs. I think champs pretty much sums it up. State champs, yeah. baby. State yeah. champs. State champs. State champs. champs, man. Put that in all caps. State <laughs> champs, you know what I'm saying? There you go. And, and while you're at it, put some respect on that, put too. Put some respect on that. There we go. Uh, well, thank you so much. It was great having the state champ, Grant Pacers, here. Yes, thank sir. you guys so much for coming thank on. You thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. We appreciate uh -huh. you covering us and doing everything for us. We appreciate that. Yes, well, thanks sir. for giving me one of the best football games I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm coming back anytime you want me to come back. <laughs> there you go. And yes, if you've never been to a Grant football game, you need to get your life together. <laughs> because it is exciting. They got the band. It's, it's like being at a, a college atmosphere, HBCU. Something of that sort. So you definitely want to go and check out the Grand Pacers next year. With that being said, thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate it.